Hey, welcome back to Gun City. I'm Ferg, and today we're doing a live fire on Tika's T1X UPR. That stands for Ultimate Precision Rifle. We're going to do a live fire in a couple of minutes, but first we're going to take you over the specs of this quality rifle. Well, first of all, you've got the T1X platform, and just the basic T1X has this great crossover barrel, which is a barrel which is kind of like a heavy and a standard contour barrel, so you get the accuracy of a heavy barrel, but the weight of more of a normal carrying rifle, which means it's going to be great for walking around with. They've got a really nice, smooth action. It's a very short stroke action, which means it's very quick for being able to reload. Great for targets or on varmint. They've got a 10 round mag, which is a really great feature. Often rim fires like this, and this one comes in 22 and 17 HMR. They've only got five round mags. This has got a 10 round mag, and they've got Tika's adjustable trigger, which incidentally is also Sarko's adjustable trigger. So you get a really nice adjustable trigger. But where things really get exciting is with the UPR model, they've put this full fiberglass stock on it as opposed to the standard synthetic stock. And the reason they've done that is more rigidity in a stock means more accuracy, plus they've made it more ergonomic for you. So you've got this nice big vertical grip, uh, which would be great for like bench rest or lay down shooting. But hey, this thing's also so light because it's fiberglass that you could go walking with this and get the advantage of it when you're going varmint shooting. They put this nice stippled coating over the outside of the stock so it's nice and grippy when you do go for a walk. Plus they've got an adjustable cheek piece here on the back to be able to get you right at the right location for the, sto uh, for the scope. And they've got a really good recoil pad on the back, right? It is so soft. Not that there's a huge amount of recoil out of these rim fires. Plus they come with spaces where you can adjust that length of pull if you've got those longer arms. They've also put more stiffening around the receiver they've got carbon reinforcing in there which is lightweight but also strong it increases your accuracy so in terms of accuracy with the t1x they are already renowned we get so many people sending in well not so many that's a vast exaggeration but we get people telling us how great they are how accurate they are like thumb hole you know thumbnail at 50 meters that type of thing so we've got a core flute target set up at 60 meters behind us we're going to see what kind of group we can get out of this We've also got a spin target down range on the side of the berm there to see what we can do in terms of freestanding targets. So let's give this a shot. Hey, so with our setup today, we've got a three to nine by 40 ranger scope on the top. Ideally, it would have been better to have something a little bit more powerful so I could get closer to that target. So 15 power would have been nice, but this is still good. Plus, you've got a Braveheart silencer on the front, which is a two piece silencer, nice and quiet. We've done that just to pull that 17 HMR sound down. And we've got standard alloy rings, but you know, we've done that for a package just to get dudes in the door, but it would have been greater to have even gruntier rings that are just gonna be able to hold those good optics right on the top there. Got the check piece raised a little bit. Let's give this thing a shot. Hey, so we've just had a wee bit of fun sighting it in, getting it onto target. Uh, well, I actually twisted the cap the wrong way, got the old left is right, right is left, so that added a little bit of fun to the to the mix, but now we're ready to shoot some groups. Hey Josh, is it Tika or Tika? Uh, definitely Tika. Hey, what do you think? Comment below, in New Zealand we call them Tika. Shoot a group with this Tika. five rounds, I'm gonna go have a look down target. Hey, well, after my excitement of shooting pretty much a bullseye when we were sighting it in, I think I hurried it a little bit. 60 meters, inch and a half, not exactly a thumbnail, unless you're like Goliath and you've got a huge thumbnail. You might wanna post that picture online, and make a lot of money. Let's go and give it another shot. That was way to the right. Right, let's go see how this one grouped. All right, so this is a bit embarrassing for me. Obviously not the best shot in the world. Here goes my group. I was aiming for the bullseye. The bullseye still remains pure. You can see that the group's tightening up. I definitely felt like I pulled that one. But you can see it's starting to approach a nice tight group. Uh, that adjustable trigger is really great. Uh, it's nice and light. Hey, if you've got a T1X and you've shot a great group, please send it through to us on our Facebook, even our YouTube chat. Or even if you've just got a, a rimfly group that you're extremely proud of, feel free to send it through to us. We'd love to love everyone to see it. All 
Alrighty, so we've shot three groups, now I'm going to go freestanding. Hey, call me an absolute dream if I'm going to try and shoot a group standing up. I mean, if there's any stock you can do it with, it's got to be this stock. Oh, that was awful. That was absolutely awful. Okay, group number three. Things are nice and tight. Still not on my thumbnail. Three shots on my thumbnail, so I'm actually pretty happy with that at 60 metres. Uh, and then I chose to do a freestanding group. Absolute dreamer, but at least got two kind of close. That one was definitely a flyer that I could feel happening. And um, the other two are going to be sitting around here somewhere. So we're going to give it a go at a freestanding gong shot now. What's that? I'm shouting with headphones on? Yeah, yeah I'm not loud. Ah, I left the batteries behind. Is this better? Yeah. Hey, we're just going to shoot that gong just down range here, all right? Hey, so we're going to shoot this gong behind me. It's about 85 metres away. We'll just see if I can freehand it. UPAR is a comfortable stock, highly ergonomic. So let's see how we go. You hearing anything? Wow, wow. Surely it will move. Come on, Ferg. Got it. Bottom left. Yep. This is why it's so helpful to be able to slide in because you know where the thing's shooting. I was up and to the right. Well, there's a reason why you go down onto a knee. It was 100% easier to be able to hit the thing on a knee, rested, as opposed to freestanding. So if you're out in the field with one of these, recommend taking a knee. Hey, so just had a huge amount of fun shooting the Tika T1X UPR in 17 HMR. It's accurate, and I know that I've got a whole lot of room that I could grow as a shooter where it's gonna keep out shooting me, which is what you want. The stock is very comfortable for lay down shooting, even in the standing up position, it was still nice. This vertical grip is really good. And I love the fact that it's got the ability to raise the cheek piece. In terms of a rifle, T1X, awesome. I think the person who's gonna buy the UPR is gonna be someone who really wants that Ergo stock that is kind of like that next level finish and function. So if you want a rifle that just shoots the lights out and you want something that's a little bit different from what everyone else has, this UPR is waiting for you.